everybody. This is a video of some beautiful names from poetry and some really famous poets. If you're into poetry, this could be a cool way to honor some of them. The first name is Poet, obviously. And I this is a unisex name. I could see it on a boy and a girl. And Soleil Moon Fry's daughter is named Poet, and I think that it's really, really cute. The next one is Tennyson, and I think Tennyson's such a cool, strong, masculine name. Um, Tennyson is after Lord Alfred Tennyson, and he was a poet laureate for the United Kingdom uh, during much of Queen Victoria's reign, and Wikipedia says that he is the ninth most frequently quoted writer in the Oxford Dictionary of Quotations after Shakespeare and others. And some of his famous work is The Lady of Shalott and the poems about King Arthur. The next name is Whittier. And I think Whittier is so cool. It's like, it's cool like the name Wilder. If you're daring like that, I think Whittier is pretty cool too. And it's after John Greenleaf Whittier. And he was a great American Quaker poet. And he was influential in abolishing slavery. The next one is my favorite, and that's Henry, after Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Um, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow was a celebrated American poet, and he was born in Maine. And a few of his famous poems are The Arrow and the Song and Paul Revere's Ride. And Henry Wadsworth Longfellow was just such a cool guy, and I love his poetry. I think Henry's a really cool name. One of Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's poems... Um, was called Hiawatha, and I think Hiawatha is such a cool name. The poem was about a fictional Indian hero and his lover, and it was published in 1855 and was an instant success. It is just beautifully written and has other really cool names in it, like Nokomis, too, and it's just, it's worth the read. The next name is Poe. I think Poe is a cool, edgy name if you appreciate the works of Edgar Allan Poe. It's just so cool. The next name is Frost, after Robert Frost. And he was a great American poet, too. And one of his famous poems was Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening. And he just, he was such a great poet, and he had a piercing, simple way to convey a point. I think the name is cool with the other names like Winter. I think it fits in really well with today. A really, really classic name is Iliad, and it was written by Homer, and it's an epic poem set during the Trojan War. The next one is Keats, after John Keats, who was a great Amer um, he was a great romantic poet from England, and recently a movie was made about him called Bright Star, which I heard was really good. And I like the sound of it. It's short and sweet, and yet it has a nice pointed sound. I like it. The next name is Wordsworth, after William's words, William Wordsworth. Sorry, He was another one of England's great romantic poets. He wrote the famous poem about daffodils. And uh, one of my favorite lines from the poem is, And then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils. I just... I can't help loving the names Wordsworth. I think as a middle name, it would be so cool. The next is Emerson, and it's after Ralph Waldo Emerson, who was an American poet. And he had an interesting writing style, even people during his time admitted. But it's a current fresh name, even for today, I think. For some names for girls, the first one, which is really popular right now on Form Spring, is Evangeline. And it was a poem written by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. And he called the story the best illustration of faithfulness and the constancy of woman that I have ever heard of or read. So it's just a beautiful poem about a man and a woman who were separated after they were married during the war and she didn't find him till years and years and years later on his deathbed they were reunited and I just it's such a beautiful beautiful poem and a great name 
The next one is Pippa. Pippa is one of my personal favorites. Um, there was a poem written by Robert Browning called Pippa's Song, and it's a cute, short little poem that's just brimming with all that's winsome. The next one is another personal favorite, and that's Kilmeny. Kilmeny was a poem written by the Scottish poet James Hogg, and he created the name. It's about a young woman who goes up into the hills and disappears and then comes back years later having seen paradise. And it's a wistful poem that just it makes you fall in love with the name Kilmeny. The next one is a poem written by Alfred Tennyson, and that's Mariana. And it was a tragic poem, but it's a beautiful name. And it has Tennyson's rhythmic flavor, and it just rolls off the tongue. It just... Mariana, so pretty. Another name that's really, really cute is Lucy. Lucy is after Lucy Maud Montgomery, and she was a famous author, and she's my favorite author of all time. And her most fav- uh, her most famous book was Anne of Green Gables, but she was also a phenomenal poet, and they were deep and whimsical and yet very understandable. She was very talented in poetry. The next one is Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn is such a gorgeous name. And Gwendolyn is after the African-American poet Gwendolyn Elizabeth Brooks, who is celebrated and, and just wrote with a keen view of the times in the early to mid 1900s. The next one is Bronte. And some people say Bronte but I say Bronte, and it's after the sisters Charlotte, Anne, and Emily Bronte, who wrote like Jane Eyre and Wuthering Heights and other beautiful classics like that. Um, But they weren't just authors. Actually, their very first book they tried to publish was a book of poetry, and Bronte, it just seems a trendy and modern-sounding name, and yet it has a lot of depth because of their just... Their works were so strong. And the last name for the girls list is Millay, after Edna St. Vincent Millay. And she was an American poet in the early 1900s and was a very strong writer too. And Millay has just a sweet, soulful sound to it. And Edna is pretty too, but Millay just has such a nice, cute, fresh sound to it. I really, really like it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if there are any poetry or poem or poet names that I missed, comment below and let me know what your favorites were, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.